this one we're gonna be making a live uh, Linux USB drive now the reason for this is you want to save CDs you don't have to keep burning it you just use the same flash drive again and wipe out the old distro right now the first thing I, want, I need you to do is um, you need to download the ISO of the distro that you want to use um, you also need a uh, flash drive at least one gig and it can be higher if you want to use a live um, DVD type but one gig is mainly for the CD-ROM and I, I also need uh, you to format your flash drive to a FAT32 partition in my last video I showed you how to format to NTFS but this time you need to uh, format to flat FAT32 to do this okay so you have your um, ISO and you have you need to download this program it's called unit booting or I call it you need booty so you need you need this program right I'll post a link on the side and first when you get this program you have to um, right click on it and click on properties and in here you know you have to give it permission to run you go to permission tab here and you go down and you say allow executing right click check that and then it should it should be good now that you have it just uh, open it and then type in your fucking password and you see here this is how it looks like not that really difficult all you gotta do is um, they have a drop down box here and you can see there's a lot of stuff so yeah and they, they, have, they have Ubuntu also so when Ubuntu the new one comes out you just select that one and use it so I have a, a Fedora uh, ISO, so I'm gonna check that. Fedora, right? Let's see which one I got. I got 9 and then 64 bit. So 9 and 64 bit. So that's mine, right? And this is pretty straightforward. They tell you uh, where's the ISO at. So you check on this, right? And then you find the ISO. My shit is in my, uh, uh, my, my desktop. So here I got um, my ISO, right? Click open, should be there. And um, this is the part where you should uh, plug in your USB drive if it's not already plugged in. And see, don't plug, if you're using hard disk, then you can use hard disk, but for this one, I'm using USB, right? And right there, that's the only USB I got. And I click OK and it should start doing its work see it's doing its work so I'm just gonna let it go now with unit booting um, they have those uh, default stuff but they also have a come with custom ones uh, like this one over here I have it for my uh, um, my netbook um, Asus 701 so I got the um, Ubuntu EEE edition this is mainly for people that has the the netbook if you don't have a netbook this, this is really not for you but I'm just talking about this one so you do the same thing you give it permission right and then um, you open this one now with this version is is kind of different because uh, this version um, is custom made only for the uh, Ubuntu EE right so you cannot you don't have anything else just this one right and you do the same thing with the ISO but um, when you're selecting the ISO, right? Let me see. Uh, this is the only problem I experienced it with. Let me see. So I got my uh, ISO here, right? Now what you want to do is here is uh, if your um, folder has a space in it or uh, any space in it, then it will not work because this with this version um, they had a bug or something. Uh, version uh, 238 of unit booting they had a bug that if the path has a uh, space in it it doesn't do shit you know so you want it to put it in a folder or some rename a folder or something so it doesn't have any space you know so that's all that's all you gotta do to uh, make it work with the 
Ubuntu EE and just click OK and then you're done that's it so it's pretty much the same thing as um, any other one but this one is custom made just for this and as you can see, see this one is still going um, it might look like it's frozen or something but just leave it alone and it should continue doing its job and that's how you do the uh, USB live Linux thing so it's good to try new distros without wasting CDs and then you know you still have money in your pocket right bitch that's it